Hello everyone, it is Friday, July 13th, in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome, and it's time to start the weekend. It's Friday the 13th, so yeah, I gotta have all the luck I can get, you know. Truth be told, usually Friday the 13th is a good day. I know that's how it is in my family. I know a fake beard. Hey, deal with it. It's my show. I'm not going to grow a real beard. I can't do that. It comes out like patchwork. It's horrible. I grow hair on this side, but not on this side. There's something wrong with that. All right, folks. Um, sponsors, as always, first of all. Unofficial sponsors, but might as well be official. My good friend, Crystal Lloyd Dozani, her coffee company, KJ Lloyd, OrganoGold.com, or dot .organogold.com, if you can read it. Um, phenomenal coffee. Highly endorse it. Highly recommended. Stuff is fantastically delicious. And uh, so go for it, Crystal. Hope you're doing well. And then my man Wally Fortier lives right across the street from me here in Yeehaw, Texas, where men and men and bulls run scared. Um, he's got his Wally's aluminum shaping process, aluminum art, Facebook.com slash W A S P A A. My good friend Wally, phenomenal stuff. Um, he makes everything. Um, sports logos out of aluminum, um, you know, artwork, you know, creatures of the night, whatever you want, the man can make it, it's amazing what that man can do, um, so take a look, and I've got dog licking me, Blech. he better not trip over my cord, alright, how about some birth, oh, before I get to the birthday shoutouts, I gotta get to the beer of the day, cause I am parched right now, after a long night of work, it's time to end the day off right. And what better than Wailua Aloha Series um, from Kona Brewing Company, Kona, Hawaii, home of February 1996 playmate Kona Carmack, an absolute gorgeous lady. Good stuff. This stuff, we ale brewed with passion fruit. Traditional bottle opener is always on the show. <clears throat> Traditional beer mug. Drinking apparatus. Traditional 45 degree porridge of the beer. Cheers and beers to all of you. My daughter's too busy playing on the computer. Didn't want to be on the show, apparently. Oh well, kids are kids. Anyway, so. Start right off with the birthday shout-outs, folks. My good friend, Sarah Hall. Happy birthday to you. I work with her here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. And Sarah, unfortunately, you are working right now. It's all right. I'm drinking for you. How about that? Don't worry. You'll get done with work. Party hard and enjoy. Those things happen. Um, could be worse. You could be a Yankee fan. There's always worse out there. Sarah... She's cool, comical nav, um, very cone-headed, smart, genius, and what's cool is she's as loud as me. Not many people can be that loud. It's awesome. Sarah, I love it. Cheers and beers to you. Next on the list. Now, here's a great man that I worked with in jolly old England. My man, Phil Cox. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. No, you're living in New Mexico. Although I know it's Western Texas. Yeah. Or is it Eastern Arizona? I don't know. But uh, you live in the home of the of but the Buddy Holly famous recording studio. I will go there someday and visit that museum. Uh, Norman Petty recording studio. Phenomenal musicians came out of there. A lot of good rockabilly and rock and roll music in the 50s. My era of music. The best music ever. 1947 to 63, undoubtedly. But, uh, Phil, hope you're doing well, my friend. It was a pleasure and an honor working with you. He's a comical naver. Not as good as us GAC gods, the GNC posse, GCS posse, whatever you want to call us. What does GAC stand for? Go ask Com Nav if they need an RMA or an RWA. That would be a real man assist or a real woman assist. GAC is better. Period. Dot. End of story. Still love you, Phil. No homo. But I hope you're doing well, my man. Love to see the Baker Bingo sometime. Anyway, next on the list, final birthday for today. Actually, I lied. 
But my good friend Joey Canna. I've known him since um, forever. Yup. Squeeze me. Now, Joey graduated my brother in 1992. And uh, I we've known him since like 78, 1978, 79. We've known him forever. Lives two streets over from us. Still keep in touch with him. So, Joey, hope you're doing well, my friend. And I uh, love to hear from you. Hope you enjoy the show. I know you don't get on his Facebook as much as I do. Then again, not many people do. I don't blame you either. And finally, a shout out to my man, Jeff Robeson. I hung out with this guy five and a half, almost six years. Yeah, five and a half years ago, almost six years ago in Germany. when We were on vacation there for seven weeks, six, seven weeks. Great times. Learned a lot of stuff that was cool. Great time. Learned a lot about Germany. Learned a lot about how to be better leaders, um, better mentors, better friends, better everything. Heck, even better beer drinkers. Because I'll tell you what, all that um, Franziskana, Hefeweizen, and Dunkel, I drank about seven cases there in six, six to seven weeks. And I gained 15 pounds on that trip. It was awesome. Franziskana, Hefeweizen, and Dunkel, dark German wheat beer. Absolutely amazing. I don't have it today, but I'm drinking it in spirit. Ah, this stuff's good. But anyway, Jeff, a shout out to your son, Brian. Happy birthday to you, Brian. Hope you enjoy the show. We'll see if Jeff is crazy enough to show it to you or not. I don't know. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day and a wicked awesome weekend. Party hard and enjoy. Now, how about some additional shout outs? And I'm going to give a big shout out to my man, Rafael Peña Perez. A great man, a great guy, a true leader of men and women and its. And uh, crew dog by trade. I work with him here in Yeehaw, Texas. That's right. And, uh, dude, it's a pleasure and an honor working with you, man. Your people that you work with absolutely think wicked highly of you. And you have got the most ultra superior volleyball skills I think I've ever seen in my life. I don't know. My man Jimmy Little is pretty close. You two are beasts. And, uh, yeah, I'm jealous of your skills. I'm not going to lie. But, however, most people don't have the skills that the love doctor has. For I am married to royalty. How many of you can truly say that? Oh, speaking of marriage, I'm so glad I mentioned that. And I apologize, first of all, it was three days ago today, July 10th, that uh, there was a uh, 19th wedding anniversary that I missed for a great man, a great mentor, a great leader, and the biggest Michigan State fan I think I've ever met in my entire life, diehard sports fan, my man Chad Mansky, and his better half Stacy. Happy 19th anniversary to you from three days ago. Hopefully you're still celebrating it well. It sounds like you had a wicked awesome time. I don't know how I missed it. I normally don't miss numbers and dates and stuff like that. But hey, nobody's perfect. If I was perfect, I'd be playing third base for the Red Sox because that would be perfect for me. That would be my dream come true. But I lack the skills physically. I got the skills mentally. They're right up here. I dream I play that well every day, playing that hot corner. But anyway, my good man, I just wanted to say... I hope Michigan State beats Michigan. That would be cool. But uh, I, I hope you're doing well. I know I am. Always a pleasure to hear from you. Definitely a positively motivated man. We need good people in the world. Folks, treat people right. They'll treat you right. If not, they should have never been born. And karma will bite them in the booty. I guarantee it. Well, I don't guarantee it. But it's pretty likely that that's going to happen. So cheers and beers to you, sir. And uh, have a wicked awesome day. All right, next on the list, my man Jeff Graziano from Rhode Island, a great man that I got to hung, hang out with in Germany on vacation, and I came to realize that um, he had actually been to Martha's Vineyard Island where I'm from, and we're diehard Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, and Bruins, the four best teams in sports, in all of sports, and Jeff, I'm hoping the Red Sox pull the head out of their ass. Because I'm telling you, it's disgusting. $191 million payroll, 43-43 and 43 record, 500. What's going on? Or as the late, great Vince Lombardi said, 
What the hell's going on around here? Got me. I don't know. I don't get it. It might be time to blow up the team. What do you think, Jeff? Jeff is a scratch golfer. Or did he have four handicaps, something like that? I can't remember, Jeff. All I know is you were like, you're like the Jack Nicholas of amateurism. I don't know. I just, I'm trying I'm trying to wing it here, okay? Jeff, your golf skills are amazing. And you are truly a wicked awesome friend. And uh, hope you enjoy the show, man. And next on the list, one, one of the biggest, baddest medical dudes I've ever met in my entire life, my man, Justin Greer, who was also hanging out with us on vacation in Germany. And uh, this man is just like ultra cool as well. And Justin, I hope you're doing well, my man. Cheers and beers to you. You, Jeff, and I hanging out, man. That was truly awesome. Good times and uh, a lot of fun. And you two are definitely friends for life. As are all of you that I'm mentioning on this here show. See, it's all about looking at the good in people. There are those few cases where, you know, people, sh some of them should have never been unleashed into the society. But you know what? Mother Nature has a unique way of whittling them out. Okay? Cool. All right, so Justin, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list, I hadn't heard from this young lady in about maybe five years or so. Four years, something like that. Was it 2007, 2008? The Honorable Jessica Lara. Hope you're doing well. It sounds like you are. I'm doing great down here in uh, eastern New Mexico, otherwise known as Texas. Yeehaw. And, uh... Good times. But the only problem with Texas, there's two problems with Texas, you see. Big old critters. Way too many big, ugly critters out in this here state. And then the other thing, some of which can really mess you up. And then the other thing, it's too damn hot out here. It's crazy. I don't dig triple digit temperatures. You know, if it's above 75, that's just too hot. I like a, well, I like 75, 80 degree slight ocean breeze. That's what I like. Anything above that, you can have it. You can keep it. Forget about it. I don't like it. But Jessica, pleasure hearing from you again. It's been way too long. Keep in touch. Living in Pennsylvania, a great state indeed. I remember you were from Pennsylvania. Went back home. Good times. State's awesome. They, you really, you really got a great state. So, and you're a great friend and a great person. So, hope you enjoy the show. And finally. My man, Seth Drake. Crew dog! A good young man who I work with here in Yeehaw, Texas. Can't even grow a full mustache yet, but I always give him pre uh, credit for trying. See, I couldn't do that when I was his age either, you know. I, it took me, like, to the age of 30 to be able to even grow a halfway decent stash. I still look like a schmuck during uh, Mustache Madness Month every year. I still don't grow that cool stash like a Freddie Mercury type stash or a Tom Selleck stash or something like that. Can't do it. I'm not a hairy Sasquatch. It's just the way it is. But Seth, always a pleasure talking to you. A great man. A great hard worker. And uh, I hope you enjoy the show. You inspired me. He asked me. See folks, Seth asked me earlier. What kind of music do you have on your show today? And I told him most likely rhythm and blues. An old school rhythm and blues. Real rhythm and blues. Not that stuff that they call rhythm and blues nowadays. That that's R and B. That's um, uh, real and bad. No, there's some really good modern R and B out there. But the real rhythm and blues, in my opinion, that's the 1947 to 1956 era predominantly. That's some rhythm and blues, folks. Anyway, so we've gone through the shoutouts. Um, how about some random facts of the day, real quick? And we've got, back in, on this day, July 13th, in the year of 1945, the first atomic bomb tested and exploded in New Mexico. Those of you living in New Mexico, I hope there's no fallout. <laughs> that would suck. <coughs> Squeeze me. Um, also, on this day in 1832, the source of the Mississippi River was found. A man named Henry R. Schoolcraft. Now, see, here's the ironic thing. 
I guarantee you, the source of the Mississippi River was found long before that. They just didn't know what it was. Those folks that lived in that area before then. A lot of Native Americans and other folks, dinosaurs, whoever. I guarantee you, it wasn't Henry R. Schoolcraft that was the first person to discover the source. Highly unlikely. But, you know, probably the first one that discovered it and knew what it was for. Now, that's probably true. All right, how about some, uh, those of you sharing a birthday on this here day, July 13th in the year by low 2012. Did you know Cheech Marin of Cheech and Chong fame? Yeah, Cheech. Awesome. Great actor. Hilarious. He's 66 years old today. So happy birthday, Cheech. Cheech Marin, Tommy Chong, I don't know about you, but I have all of the Cheech and Chong movies except for the newest one, and I will get that one soon. Big Cheech and Chong fan. Um, on this day, 70 years ago, Ladies Heartthrob, The Man, Han Solo, Harrison Ford was born on this day in 1942. Can you believe he's 70 years old now? Such a great actor, and uh, my wife thinks he's hot. For an older man. Hey, I'll take a word on that. I don't judge dudes. That's not what I do. So, anyway, Harrison Ford, happy birthday, my man. Cheers and beers to you. And finally, Jean-Luc Picard. That's right. And I know my man Justin Dimmitt will appreciate this. For uh, Jean-Luc Picard, otherwise played by the great Patrick Stewart. See, Patrick Stewart is 72 years old today. Born on this day in 1940. Happy birthday, Dr. Picard. Star Trek The Next Generation. And, uh, so there you go. There's your famous birthdays. Mm. Now for the movie of the day. And, folks, I'm surprised they didn't bring it out sooner. And my man Kevin Sherman will appreciate this movie. He better. Denzel Washington, The Hurricane, 1999. I went to the theater to watch this movie. And I was blown away at how good this movie was. Okay. Denzel Washington, best actor. Golden Globe winner. He did not win the Oscar, unfortunately. He did a damn good job. Denzel Washington's an amazing actor. And he supports the armed forces. The guy is just amazing. I mean, he is very, um, he's just very down to earth. I have never heard a bad word spoken about Denzel Washington. He's never forgotten his roots, and he just, he cares about his people, and he cares about, and you know what, I always, I always respect the military myself. I wish I could donate more to help their cause, but Denzel Washington, he supports him definitely, and you don't see that in Hollywood. Most of them Hollywood actors are protesting and all that stuff, it's disgusting, but Denzel, not the case, and this man, now see, he played, uh, this was based on a true story. Oh, he was an Academy Award winner. I take that back. Boy, don't I feel like an idiot. Good. Hey, nobody's perfect. I said it earlier. But uh, he played Reuben Hurricane Carter, a boxer who was in the prime of his career and uh, was wrongfully accused of murder. Spent nearly 20 years in prison. Oh, yeah, 20 years in prison to prove his innocence. They didn't believe him. Um, it was a young teenager in Brooklyn. And three Canadian activists who believed the truth, who believed in him, and uh, the the young Brooklyn teenager had read his story, his autobiography, Reuben Hurricane Carter's actual autobiography, and uh, they worked hard to prove his innocence. It took a long time, but finally he was free, and he's still doing inspirational work today. It's just a real shame that he he didn't get a. Um, Press forward with his boxing career. Who knows how famous he would have been. He was a pretty good boxer. And uh, this this movie, I mean, I'm just blown away. I Like I said, I saw it in the theater. It was 2 hours and 26 minutes, and yet it seemed it was so fast. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this here movie. If you haven't seen it, Netflix, YouTube it, rent it from a video store, whatever you got to do, buy the movie. You can get the movie for 10 bucks or less. I think I got this one at Walmart for like $9.99, if I remember correctly. All right, folks, it is time for the song of the day. And uh, as promised to my man Seth Drake, some real rhythm and blues. And we're going back to March of 1954, okay? 
Now, there was a famous radio DJ, Alan Freed. If you haven't heard of him, prior to Dick Clark, this guy was the shiznit, the true rock and roll man. And uh, he did what a lot of others didn't do. He brought black and white music to the forefront. And we all know in the early 50s, you know, there was that race issue and stuff like that. And unfortunately, disgusting. And uh, Alan Free didn't care. If you sounded good, regardless of race, black, white, Hispanic, Mexican, Asian, you were getting you were getting um, recognition on WJ, WJW Cleveland. On um, oh goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Um, New York radio station. After that, and then um, K. Oh, he was even in L.A. K.A.D.Y. But yeah, New York is where he made it famous. Um, WABC? Was he with WABC? I can't remember. Ah, We'll look that up later. But he also did some rock and roll movies in the mid to late 50s. And uh, sadly, he passed away 43 years old in 1965. He was born late 1921. And uh, he got hung up in that payola scandal where they paid DJs to play certain records. But Alan Freed, I mean... He just got caught doing what pretty much everybody was doing. Damn near. Almost like the steroids thing. But uh, it's just a damn shame. Because Alan Free was an amazing DJ. But anyway, the song, March 1954, is um, it's truly an amazing song. It's called The Whip by uh, Gil Bernal. And I didn't even realize it, but he passed away. Gil Bernal was born February 4th, 1931. And passed away July 17th, 2011, 80 years old, congestive heart failure. This guy was a badass on the sax. Here you go. Listen to this. Starting with the WJW air check. Rock and roll party. Spark Records. Crazy. This is what true rhythm and blues is all about, baby. Rock and sax instrumentals. Some of the greatest saxologists in the world. Big J. McNeely. Wilbert Red Price. Hal Singer. Um... Fats Noel was incredible. Louis Jordan, Gil Bernal, um, Jimmy Cavello. Some of the most incredible sax missions ever. What do you think of this one, folks? 200 mile per hour rocket to start the day off right, isn't it? It'll definitely get you moving. Ultimate party record. I hate it when my computer messes up like that. Hmm. Hey Seth, what do you think of this free music lesson, huh? How about you, Phil? You probably heard me playing it before blasting it away in England. Probably all the way across the country. To my man, Chad Mansky. The man. The bird, the true ultra bird man of England. Jessica, you probably heard this song. You probably heard me blasting it. I just think, Gil Bernal was 22, 23 years old when he recorded this. And he was uh, half Mexican, half Sicilian. Not that it matters. But in case you're curious. Like I said, Alan Free did not care. All he cared about was sound quality. And if you don't like that, there's something wrong with you. If that ain't awesome... 
Guard is Blue Guard is still for now. The Blue Guard shows Bart Records and the Whip. If that ain't awesome, I don't know what is. All right, folks, you know what time it is, right? That's right. It is time to make like a fetus and head out. So everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking or driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for scumbags like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady, Manning, or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Bye-bye. Bye. Ooh. I'm also finished the beer, right? Gone. Dropped like a bad habit. See you all tomorrow. Bye.